You're gossiping about me? Wait, wait, wait. You're gossiping about me? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Guys, honestly speaking, personally, I believe that gossip stems from a place of jealousy, hate, or actually lack. Yeah. Some people wish to have what you have, and because they don't have it, they just open their mouth and talk. So please, guys, don't take gossip to heart. Okay? So today we are talking about gossip. Don't take it to heart. So I have a story, actually. I remember some years ago, two of my very good close friends, actually, gossiped, you know, about me. And you know the funny thing? One of them actually came to tell me what they discussed. Of course, she made herself look like the good person. She was the one listening in and the other one was saying trash about me and all that, you know? And when she finished, I'm sure she wanted to get in you know, a funny kind of reaction or angry kind of reaction from me. But when she finished, I just said to her, the truth of the matter is that both of you actually wish to have what I have. So because you guys don't have it, that's why you are gossiping. Anyway, I'll be praying for you guys to have it. <laughs> you know, that kind of thing. The way I said, I said they cracked that up. She was like, ah, you're not angry. I said, how can I be angry? Clearly, this thing you people said is just a clear indication that you people wished to have what I have. And because I don't have it and you people didn't know how to manage it, you felt that the best thing to do was just to talk about me. Okay? And um, I kind of swept it under the carpet. Of course, it kind of made me feel that, you know, they are not as bosom as I thought they were. But it's okay. I didn't take it to heart because I believe that is either they were jealous in that moment, they couldn't control their jealousy, or maybe they didn't really like me, even though we were friends. Maybe they didn't like my gods, they didn't like my personality, or maybe I was even triggering them. Maybe I was even the one causing them not to really like me. It's possible. But whatever the case is, it, it sure made me realize that they are really not as bosom as I would want them to be, or as I thought they were, and it's okay. But did I take the gossip to heart? No. And that is what I'm here to tell you guys. See, if you continue to take things that people say about you to heart, you will die before your time. High BP will hit you at 20, at 25, at 30. You will be a shadow of yourself. And before you know it, you begin to be a people pleaser because you want people to say good things about you. And I bet you, not everyone would love you no matter how nice you are. Of course, you should actually try to be a better person as you grow. But don't live for people or don't live for glory of people because people will always condemn no matter what you do. If you do so little, they will say you're not pushing yourself. If you do too much, they say you're all over the place. If you're in the middle, they say this one is even confused. People would definitely gossip. So, do that which your heart tells you is okay. As far as it's actually not affecting the next person negatively, just be you. Do you to an extent. You know what I mean? Of course, try to be on that path of being a better person as you proceed. But don't live your life wanting everyone to like you and say good things about you. Because guess what? Sorry to bust your bubble. That would never happen. Okay. So also, I came up with reasons, you know, that I think people gossip. So number one, I think people could gossip because they're jealous of you, of course. Like I said earlier, or maybe they hate you or hate your gods. Number two, people could, could gossip about you because they wish they had what you have right um sometimes is kind of like envious of them they feel oh how i wish i'm in this position why is this good thing happening to this person and all of that number three people could also gossip about you because they're just being immature you know some people just feel that ah, they can say whatever they don't they're not sensitive enough to understand how deep or how that thing they are saying can actually affect you negatively they are being immature and insensitive right number four People could actually gossip because they're just flippant. You know, there are people that talk. They just want to talk. Just open their mouth and talk. Nya, 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 without no indication of what they're saying. And then number five, again, people can gossip about you because they want to. They want favor. Or they want to use you to be close to another person. You know, you know, women, women, comment here. You know this part now, you know. <laughs> Maybe a new person comes into your pool of friends and all that. And the person wants to actually blend them. The person feels that she needs to use gossip to actually, you know, come into the group and be closer to maybe the queen bee of the group or the person she likes in the group. She now use you to do what I You know what I mean? Women, you understand this. Comment below if you understand what I'm saying. You now use your story to do what I And most times, the things they are saying are hyped, forged, lies, or elaborated. 
just to actually, you know, bring themselves closer to the person that they're eyeing in the group. Or favor. They feel that when they tell whoever that wants to know your bad story, bad things about you, the person would actually grant them favor, whatever that is. And then numerous reasons. Comment, guys, and tell me why you think people gossip, okay? So these are the things that made me feel like I can't really bother myself about or with what people say about me. People always say that I'm Azuanoka. What is Azuanoka in Igbo, in English? How do I translate this? Somebody that doesn't care. Like, I keep the gist on my shoulders. If I'm walking and it falls, that's fine. Like, it doesn't bug me at all. Because I know that no matter what I do, as far as I'm existing, people will talk about me. And that's okay. Alright? And then importantly, guys, there's something I want to say here. Most times, people misunderstand sincere genuine conversation with gossiping they are two different things it's like an incident happened and you're genuinely just conversing innocently with someone oh this is my opinion about this and you drop it there and move on that is okay but you know when you now forge or fake something and just say something to demean to rubbish somebody's personality because it's coming from a back you know the story about that person actually stirs something negative in you and you just with anger and jealousy and hatred want to just say something bad just to make yourself feel good in that moment. That is actually gossiping. It's coming from a place of jealousy and hate. Mm -hmm. I said it. That's what it is. So guys, my the moral of my story today is keep walking with your shoulders high. Don't be perturbed when you hear things that people said about you that are lies especially yes i know it could hurt if it's coming from somebody you care so much or somebody you trust but you know stay in the anger for, for a minute and just dust it off and move on because people would actually disappoint you it is giving just keep doing what you're doing make sure you're on the trajectory of being a better person and leave the rest to god when God start blessing you, those people that gossip about you will still come behind to actually come and be your friend. Oh, we've seen it happen so many times now. It's normal. Okay? So, <laughs> remember always to hang in there. Would you always say this? You know now, as I want to close, I always say it. Because I actually want us to always hang in there. For the very best is next. Love you. Ciao, ciao. Mwah.